In the haunting annals of crime history, the Gilgo Beach serial killing stand as a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk in the shadows. Between 1996 and 2011, a series of gruesome murders unfolded on the south shore of Long Island, New York. The perpetrator of these horrific crimes, known as the Long Island serial killer, remained elusive for years. However, in July 2023, a breakthrough occurred when Rex Hewerman, a resident of Massapequa Park, Long Island, was arrested and charged in connection with these heinous acts. Join us as we unravel the chilling events and the identities of the victims. But before we do, could you please like, share, and subscribe to our channel? We'll also explore the charges that make Rex Hewerman a suspected killer. Thank you for your support. The Gilgo Beach Serial Killings The story begins in the serene and picturesque setting of Gilgo Beach, where the remains of 11 individuals were unearthed over a period of 15 years. Most of the victims were sex workers who had fallen prey to a sinister force. The Long Island Serial Killer, or LISK, haunted this tranquil community, leaving a trail of death and terror in his wake. The grim discoveries began with the disappearance of Shannon Gilbert, a 24-year-old woman who had fled from a client's home in December 2010, making a desperate 911 call before vanishing into the night. Her disappearance sparked an intensive search operation that would have far-reaching consequences. It was during this search that the initial breakthrough occurred in December 2010, leading to the shocking discovery of human remains near Gilgo Beach. These remains would come to be known as the Gilgo Four, identified as Maureen Brainerd Barnes, Melissa Bartholomew, Megan Waterman, and Amber Costello. Their bodies were found approximately 500 feet from each other, and each of them had gone missing at various times leading up to this grim discovery. Maureen Brainerd Barnes She disappeared in July 2007 at the age of 25. Maureen had been working as a sex worker via Craigslist to support herself and her family. Melissa Bartholomew Melissa, 24, had gone missing in July 2009 she was working as a sex worker through Craigslist and had last been seen in the Bronx. Megan Waterman Megan, aged 22, vanished in June 2010. She had been advertising her services on Craigslist and was staying at a motel in Hobog, New York at the time of her disappearance. Amber Costello Amber, 27, disappeared in September 2010. She was also a sex worker and a heroin user who went missing after agreeing to meet a stranger for a transaction. Further dark discoveries, March and April 2011. As the investigation intensified, six more sacks of remains were uncovered in March and April 2011 in Suffolk and Nassau counties. Authorities believed that these additional victims may have fallen prey to the Long Island serial killer even before the Gilgo Four were discovered. Jessica Taylor Jessica, 20, went missing in July 2003 while living in Manhattan. Her dismembered torso was found in Manorville, New York in 2003 and additional remains were found in 2011. Valerie Mack, or Melissa Taylor. Valerie, 24, also disappeared in 2000. She had been working as an escort in Philadelphia. Her partial remains were initially discovered in Manorville in 2000, with additional parts of her body found in 2011. Jane Doe number 7, Karen Vergata. Karen, a 34 year old woman from Manhattan, vanished in 1996 and was believed to have been working as a sex worker. Her legs were found on Fire Island in 1996, and her skull and teeth were discovered in Nassau County in 2011. The Unidentified Victims Alongside the identified victims, there were three other sacks of remains found in March and April 2011 that remained unidentified at that time. Peaches, Jane Doe number 3, an unidentified young African-American woman whose dismembered torso was found in 1997 near Hampstead Lake State Park. Baby Doe, the skeletal remains of a female toddler are found near the remains of Valerie Mack. Asian Male, the body of a young Asian male discovered near Gilgo Beach in 2011, wearing women's clothing. Following the grim discoveries of the victim's remains near Gilgo Beach, a massive investigation was launched, sending shock waves through the community. The Long Island serial killer, responsible for these heinous crimes, managed to elude capture for an extended period, leaving a trail of heartbreak and unanswered questions in his wake. 
Shannon Gilbert's case added intrigue to the unfolding event. Her remains were found a year after the Gilgo Four. The cause of her death remains contested, with law enforcement insisting it was an accidental drowning, while an independent autopsy suggested the possibility of strangulation. This mystery further fueled the determination to unmask the Long Island serial killer. The FBI's Involvement In December 2015, the FBI officially joined the investigation, signaling the gravity of the case. This move came after former police chief James Burke was indicted for civil rights violations and conspiracy, having allegedly obstructed FBI involvement in the Gilgo Beach cases for years. The FBI's involvement added a new dimension to the search for answers and justice. The Release of Evidence In January 2020, Suffolk County Police Commissioner Geraldine Hart released images of a belt found at the crime scene bearing the letters HM or WH. This crucial piece of evidence handled by the perpetrator and unrelated to any of the victims offered new leads in the investigation. Simultaneously, new scientific evidence was introduced to aid the search, and a dedicated website, gilgunews.com, was launched to gather tips from the public. Genetic Genealogy and Identifications In June 2019, a proposal emerged to use genetic genealogy to identify both the unidentified victims and potentially the Long Island serial killer himself. This groundbreaking approach began to yield results. Jane Doe No. 6 was identified as Valerie Mack, also known as Melissa Taylor, in May 2020. Furthermore, Jane Doe No. 7 was revealed to be Karen Regatta in August 2023. These identifications provided critical pieces to the puzzle. Persons of Interest Over the years, several persons of interest emerged in the investigation. John Betroff, a Suffolk County resident convicted of murdering two sex workers and suspected in a third murder, was considered a potential perpetrator of some of the Gilgo Beach murders. His proximity to the crime scenes and the similarities between those and his known murders fueled suspicions. Rex Hewerman, a new suspect In a stunning turn of events, Rex Andrew Hewerman, a 59-year-old Nassau County resident was arrested in July 2023 and charged with multiple counts of murder related to the Gilgo Beach serial killings. These charges include three counts of first-degree murder and three counts of second-degree murder, all tied to the tragic deaths of Melissa Bartholomew, Megan Waterman, and Amber Costello. Additionally, he emerged as the prime suspect in the case of Maureen Brainerd Barnes. Hewerman, an architect who had spent a significant portion of his life in the serene community of Mesopiqua Park on Long Island, was suddenly thrust into the spotlight. Interestingly, he claimed to have working in bustling Manhattan since as far back as 1987, as revealed in an interview available on YouTube. What made authorities sit up and take notice of Hewerman as a potential suspect was a series of compelling discoveries in March 2022. It was revealed that a Chevrolet Avalanche registered in his name had been connected to one of the killings by a witness. But that wasn't all. His cell phone records told a haunting tale, showing he had been in contact with three of the four victims. Even more chilling, an email account linked to Hurman had been scouring the internet for information about the progress of the investigation. The investigation took an even more sinister turn when court records unveiled disturbing online searches conducted by Hewerman. These searches included phrases like sadistic materials, child pornography, and even images of the victims and their relatives. The use of mitochondrial DNA testing provided another breakthrough. Hewerman became a potential match when hair found on the burlap wrappings of one of the victims was compared to a sample obtained from a pizza crust found in a box he had discarded. This macabre connection deepened when a potential match of Hewerman's wife was discovered. Here, found on or near three of the victims was eerily similar to samples taken from bottles found in the trash outside the Hewerman residence. Investigators noted that, during the suspected time frame of the killings, his wife and children had been out of state, further cementing the eerie suspicions surrounding him. As we conclude this chapter in the haunting saga of the Gilgo Beach serial killings, the arrest of Rex Hurriman shines a ray of hope on the path of closure and justice for the victims' families. While this investigation continues, the shadows of Gilgo Beach may finally reveal the answers that have long eluded law enforcement. The story of Rex Hurriman's arrest marks a significant milestone in the quest for justice and the unraveling of a long-standing mystery. Please remember, 
that there are other victims in this tragic story whom we haven't discussed in this video, but their memory and the pursuit of justice for all remain paramount. If you found this video informative and want to stay updated on this case and other true crime stories, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more gripping content.